Hey, Dream Maze here. Welcome to episode number 19 of Next Space Rebels. We're uh, continuing some of the playthrough here uh, through it, and uh, um, we are starting to be able to achieve some better heights, so I figured I would change the thumbnail around a little bit, you know, show the sky, something we're aiming for, something we're trying to strive for there. Um, so really, without further ado, we'll just get into it. Um, today is uh, actually... Um, Looping day on the show. We're gonna deal with some of these looping builds here. Uh, we want to turn that off. There we go. Okay, so we're just gonna continue from off from where we were last time and uh, do some of these. So we have a uh, looping monster perform two loopings. All right, let's let's give this one here a go. Um, so we'll do looping monster here first, and then uh, we'll look at going through some of our messages. Um, so really looping is, comes down to a couple of different things you can do to do it. The one I'm going to actually show you here is different than the one I did last time. Um, it's going to be a big looping build, um, but I definitely uh, should be able to pull it off there, no problem. Um, so yeah, I'm going to bring out a couple of big fuel tanks, bring out some um, scrap here, we'll pull out some of these ladders. They are um, only five kilograms of weight, um, but when you stick a bunch of them together, what you get is more than you're, you you kind of think because you know ladder. There's space. There's holes. You can see right through it. But if you look, you go over here to the connection mode. It's solid fuselage, so it is a really good alternative to wood or anything, and you can build it into whatever kind of shape you wanted it to be in. Um, so there you go, there's a little, uh, a little tip as far as wanting, needing in fuselage and stuff. You don't really need fuselage. Um, we'll put a fifth one on there, just so we got a little bit extra, extra, extra. Yeah, so it's, uh, a giant fuselage. And what does a good looping build need? But you need a... Um, to use some of these kinetic pieces, you need to use a swivel bar. Snaps on. It's going to snap in the center. It will. Nice. Um, and we're going to put some more scrap in here. Um, my, one of my personal favorites. Um, so really what we're trying to do is we're trying to throw it off kilter and continue the um, motion of it being off kilter and just have it go and go and go and uh, there's a lot of fuel in there so it should just go and go and go and go and go. Um, we'll have to try and get the weight ratio and the amount of fuel that's pumping through just right but that's that's uh, easy enough to do. Um, so yeah these ladders they rock for fuselage. Um, light you can run anything you need through them um, so we are going to put my uh, best engine in here, we'll go with the compact engine. And I'm going to actually keep it inside the barrel because this barrel is going to be thrashed around quite a bit. Um, so we want to keep that inside there. Um, we do need the fuel to go, uh, the rate to go quicker. I'm thinking probably, ooh, maybe like six of these things because these little pumps aren't, um, don't do a lot for it. Can we do six? 145. Uh, four. I think we can do six. Yeah, we can do six. Do we need another connector to. And a connector to reduce bring both of the fuel tanks into one. There. So that, honestly, is, uh, I would say, a probably a, what I would consider to be a pretty good looping build. I'll just uh, 
to connect it up here. This is going to take a little bit because I'm running it through some serious pumps. Um, what I like to do with these fuel tanks is have it above and then have it run through. So we'll just pull this, some of these down here, just get them a bit better spaced. That's not bad. This guy can come down right there. This guy can come down a bit. All right. So yeah, I uh, run these up into here. Oh, oh that's going to need to be moved down so we can actually connect it in. Um, so yeah, I run these, um, there we go. I run it up and then I run the fuel down into the thing there. So it runs between the two nozzles. It You can really squish them really close together with um, the two nozzles being stuck out so much on this. So. Um, we'll just run these through these series of pumps here. Through one, two of them, we'll go into the third. It takes a little bit of creative drawing. Not as easy with the Xbox analog. So you want to leave a path to be able to go to the next pump. Swivel. We'll bring it into another pump. Whoa! Is that gonna let me do another line through there? No, I have to reconnect that one. Didn't like that. I want it to go above. Make some room. There we go. And then make some room so we can get this one over there. Through the final sixth pump. There. And you're you're thinking you're thinking that's a that's not a bad build that's not a bad build but it's gonna go nowhere. Well, we don't really need it to actually lift off. We just need to have uh, a bit of off kilter balance one direction or the other, and then just tilt it um, the engine and the bottom in that particular direction, and it's just go and go it's square so it's not going to work near as well as some of the other parts will um, but it should honestly uh, be able to get those two loopings no problem um, if it continues to go and go I could say we could probably get 200 loopings out of this so um, but it's very square uh, but the 189 uh, complexity uh, it's not too bad everything's all good design so it's a couple ladders couple fuel tanks six pumps one connector, a kinetic, and a compact engine. Um, so we'll just get that built there. And this is, uh, I haven't actually tested this out, so this is a first test of a um, looping machine, I guess. Um, it's, uh, we only need two, uh, but I'm hoping for a lot more than that. So this really should not take off, um, but we'll find out here. So it's off kilter. We just keep going. There we go. Go baby, go baby, go. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, she's gonna run into that truck. Or the truck's not there. It's gonna. Oh, it's just she's just gonna keep going. So let's see how long this can go. Let's see if she's gonna. She might blow and do like a weird bounce here or something. But I mean, as far as getting two loopings, we are uh, quite good. Um, so we'll just continue here. It's uh, about a quarter of the way through so you know Upwards of about 200 looping is possibility as long as it doesn't blow up here It's really riding the back end of that uh, Delivery truck there. That's for sure I'm gonna get a special delivery out of this one Rocket special delivery looping machine So we are about halfway through we're sitting at about 80 loopings, so chances of 150 plus. Um, definitely uh, a possibility. So, two? No, no, we can do better than two. Ten? No, we can do better than ten. How about a hundred? No, we can do better than a hundred. Look at we're going 108, 109. Okay, we're going, going, going. So, there you go. That is um, 
another way of doing looping um, that kind of uses physics to your advantage. Um, because you're, oh, there you go, she, she stopped. I'm not sure how many there was that, that. But uh, there was still fuel left for her to burn, uh, but we got to 128 loopings. I'd say that's a pretty good start. It would be better if it was all rounded edges. I mean, you get a lot more from it, uh, better pumps, you get more from it. Uh, it's just kind of a basement bargain, you know, kind of build there um, to be able to do what they wanted to do. But we look at this, we got a couple of um, viral tags. We got two of them all together in one here, and I like to connect. We'll throw that one on there. Um, high level, sure, because we're starting to get to a higher level. No, because that's our rare. We don't want a rare. We want epics. Um, metal and trident. Or do we go skeleton? We'll go trident and skeleton. We'll take metal off. Skeleton, even though I have used it, is already a um, epic tag. So that should be an, a fair amount of use there, honestly. And we'll upload that. So uh, that's how you would go about doing uh, looping. So 365,000 views, 3,460 new subs. Um, and really what's kind of cool about that build is we can um, repurpose it for the next um, challenge that we're doing so we can maybe get through with three of the harder challenges in this video here for you guys. Um, so honestly what I'm going to do is I'm just going to snag this build and I'm just going to pull it over and we're going to get the right challenge. So uh, what is it, robotical? So I need to include at least four swivels. I can perform five loopings, it's kind of been proved. So all I'm going to do is just add some um, some more of those uh, things to it so we can get the four swivels going on. Um, and really kind of anywhere where it's not going to be bashed around as much, we'll can bring that in a little bit more. No, we'll put it on the outside. You know what we can do? We, you, I don't know what we'll do. We'll, we'll put one on each corner and go four corners and help and try and round it off a little bit here. That, that'll work. Um, so then we'll copy it, mirror it, and put that guy on there too. Doesn't like the fuel tank being there. And it doesn't need to be connected, um, so we just need one more. Um, we'll put it right at the very top there. Um, so these don't actually need to be connected at all in any way. Um, they just need to be present within the, the build. So um, there we go. That's uh, the uh, robotical challenge. So it's the um, previous build is five ladders uh, as a fuselage, two large truck fuel tanks, six pumps, uh, the four uh, swivels that they were looking for, and a compact engine. Oh, and the the barrel from scrap so it's all scrap this is all a scrap build um bladders better than you think they are um so it's getting up there in complexity 204 but honestly this should um get us where we need to go as far as those five loopings there so um should be easy enough um let's get a good shot of it here for thumbnail see if we can get it a nice shot there that that looks pretty um, even there, that's a nice shot too. I can just crop out everything else in the back. So just enough to get it going and continue. Here you go, baby, go, baby, go. Yeah, see if it was rounded. So we got the five loopings, no problem. It's gonna go over towards that building. Is it gonna jump that fence or is it just gonna bounce along that building? This is where the physics kind of play with it when it comes in contact with something. It's good or bad. Like, see, this is—it's just kind of like a barrier. They're not—they're not really throwing, you know, the doorway and all of the windows and the fact that there's a texture on the side of the building. They're not throwing any of that into account. So it's a loose play on physics. Um, but I mean, 52 loopings and going. So uh, here we go. Let's uh, keep, let's see if we can get this one to full burn all the way through. She does have a lot of bouncing with her. Uh, makes me nervous that it's gonna balance just a little 
double bounce, go too high, and come back down and just blow itself apart. Um, but we'll see. Uh, 88 loopings. Just go, baby, go, baby, go. So this is, uh, I have a, actually, I do have a better build than this one, uh, but I need different parts for it. Um, so I do have a better looping build that will achieve more loopings with the same amount of fuel um, uh, with a different build. Um, so there you go, 125 and going. Uh, we are nearing the last eighth of a tank there, so maybe 150. Go see if we can get 150. All right, come on, baby, keep going, keep going. Last little bit here. You got this. 160, 158, and that's it. It stayed together. Um, so one successful robotical, we achieved it. Um, I'm gonna put that those these tags in there. Honestly, I really am. Uh, even though they're already grayed out because they will work for my advantage. And we'll just give that a show there. So there we go. Using the physics of the game and physics in general to be able to help you guys to get through that. So looping, it can be done a number of different ways. Um, you can use that, uh, what is it, Catherine's Wheel, I can't, or don't quote me on that one. I don't remember what the actual name of it is, but it's a... It's like a firework wheel, but you can actually generate um, force with it. So you could maybe try this in even a smaller scale and make it work better for you there than it worked for me. But uh, I would say that was a pr pretty good, uh, pretty good double challenge there. So let's go take a look at the um, what the people have to say. So uh, robotical dude surfer. Uh, you do are truly radical. I'm loving your groovy work. Your stunts are out of this world. Uh, too much praise, really. Nah, dude, don't be modest. You own it. Here's a little thingy for you just to show my honest appreciation. It's, uh, so well, there you go. That, that'll that make the build way you, know, you can even probably play off of that even more. Because they would actually have a uh, center of um, a spin on it instead of having to spin the, um, sorry, I'm kind of losing myself here. So you, you can pivot on one point and spin around that one point as opposed to a wheel or a larger object where you'd have to pivot around the circumference of it. Um, so fidget spinner, awesome, there we go. Um, so we got a fidget spinner from him, which is sweet. Um, so let's see what Ray Sun has to say about my cluster rocket. So uh, what do you think about the decoupler? It's awesome, it's awesome, it really is. It's uh, one of the better things, but there is other ways around it. You can decouple with fireworks too. Uh, you just gotta have them loosely put apart and get a firework in there and it'll pop itself right out. Uh, glad you like it. Hope you're able to discover more uses for it. Personally, I find it mind-boggling to think of what technical possibilities it offers. So let's take a step further now. Let's make a real cluster rocket now. A rocket that decouples while individual parts continue flying. Sounds interesting. Uh, try finding uh, in the part settings panel on the boosters in your design. It will allow you to control their ignition quite precisely after decoupling, ensuring the separate pieces fly on their own accord. Good stuff. We've already played with the, um, the different settings in there. I will, uh, um, I'm sure, show it to you. Oh, we got some batteries running low here. Yeah. Grab my another battery pack. So it's just over here. Sorry about this, guys. I, uh, was uh, doing some recording for a recent uh, review video that I would like to make for you guys. Um, and had to do a lot of, uh, or some different gameplay footage for you. Um, oh, can't get that in there. Difficulties. There we go. Um, and yeah, I was uh, running the batteries quite a bit there. So um, it's kind of just a, what it'll be is it'll give you a little heads up. I might have it actually released before this video. Um, however, it is going to be uh, a, just a review on um, what my top picks would be for you guys to uh, play on Xbox Game Pass. Um, so you don't have to go through and try and search through there and find them yourselves. These would be my personal picks from me to you guys um, as games that I think would be worthwhile of your time. Um, so yeah, can 
connect this guy back up here and keep going and talking. So Ray Sun, um, so we want to have his challenge. See, we can do his challenge. Uh, cluster rocket. Um, no, we'll do furry in pieces. No, well, I don't know. I did have trouble with pimp my wheelbarrow before. Let's let's try this one here quickly and see if we can do this one. Um, so honestly, you just need to include the that wheelbarrow guy. So this is the pimped wheelbarrow, and we'll just get a little bit extra running around. Do a bit of a oh, wrong button. That's how you click the wrong button. We want to mirror it. There we go. Um, so that we kind of have a mirror to what it is there, and it's uh, going to help balance out the the weight issue and weight distribution um, problem. Actually. I think we can go like that. Um, and then we're just going to slap a bunch of boosters. We only need to get to 50 meters. So let's just uh, put a bunch of these in here. Oop. And duplicate. And then we'll just move these two over there. I, honestly, I don't know how two will work with it, but we'll give it a go. And see what happens on that one. So we just need to reach 50 meters horizontal distance. Um, this one's going to be hard to get a full shot on. There we go. Blurs out part of it. That's... I'm trying to get nice thumbnail images and it's... they're making it difficult on me. There we go. Alright, let's see what happens. Go baby, go baby, go. You're gonna get to 20? No, didn't get to that. Um, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna just say, screw the little boosters. Let's put a jet engine in this bad boy. Let's, let's, uh, what was it uh, when I was, um, who was it, uh, Tim Allen? One of those episodes we could just give it more power and they do all kinds of grunts and stuff like that it was a show i watched quite a bit when i was younger there uh that would be uh what uh, junior high school maybe end of grade school and that was out um there you go so maybe now you'll know how old i am <laughs> all right so we'll just connect that one in there and uh honestly i think just that should be enough to be able to get her she might do some flipping, um, but hopefully she'll get going in that direction of 50 meters. So this should uh, burn for a fair bit of time, and we'll see what happens. Here we go. Ooh, she's gone. Uh, she hit that edge hard. Um, retry it again. Yeah, that front. It's just making it blow apart. Um... Back to the design. Yeah, it's just it's just making it blow apart. Um, maybe if I put the wheel out further, or we just run the wheel that way, it's up a little bit, and it's gonna be riding kind of low and maybe bouncing at that point. We'll try that. We'll try that. Um, some of these, uh, like the. Um, Wheelbarrow Madness and this one, you kind of just got to play around. Eventually, you'll get it. Um, so don't be afraid to play around. And maybe that's the one. No, I just did like a weird spin flip move. That obviously did not do that. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and take the... Actually, we'll put the wheel down at the very end here. See if that will maybe make it work a little bit better. I don't know. One of these builds is going to make it work properly. And, um, I might also just need to fiddle with the engine, with its placement, and so forth. Um, so yeah, it's uh, doing some squirrely stuff there. So I think I'm going to need to actually play with the engine. So it's kind of giving it some vertical thrust. We don't want near as much vertical thrust. So let's put it just ever so slightly down there. We 
we'll try that, see if it's more forward thrust, because I'm doing vertical, it's having a tendency to lift up the front end, have it flip and stuff. So let's, uh, let's try that one. And let's see if that'll work better. Keep going. Yeah, she got it. She got it. So there we go. We have it. Uh, I am gonna, honestly, I think I was an anomaly, so I'm just gonna make sure. Um, just so you guys can see it here, and we'll zoom in, get a nice little shot of it. Um, so yeah, for a thumbnail there. Um, and just go, and we'll see if it's an anomaly or if it's actually working. No, I keep hitting. So, might just need to keep trying until you get that right spot where it doesn't blow up. Boy, oh boy. I had it. One of these ones, come on. Come oh, on, baby, do it, do it, do it. No. It's balancing now all of a sudden. I had it. All right, let's, uh, let's see what we got here. So... Honestly, it's driving, it's still driving that end. Maybe if we bring the fuel tank up, move that center of gravity a little bit. Let's try that. Let's see if that'll kind of put the weight more into the center of the back end of the wheelbarrow. Let's see if that'll do it. You want it to keep going instead of just blow up when it hits that edge. Um, you know, I'm gonna try something here. So it's hitting an edge that obviously is just on that right hand side. So I'm just gonna take the entire build and I'm gonna mirror it the other way. And then just try it that way. So it's, oh, gotta connect it. Didn't like the, the flip for connection there. So connect it. Um, so, yeah, if it's not gonna, if I don't really have enough running room in one direction, I can always flip it over and mirror it and have it go in the opposite direction. So, to me, there's well, actually probably not much more room that way, but we'll give it a try this way and see what happens. There we go. Yeah, there's, see, there's, it's a lot less of a ditch going that way. Um, so just make sure that it is, in fact, perfect for you guys. Go, baby, go, baby, go, baby, go. And yeah, she got it. Um, so two completions in a row, I would consider that build good enough for you guys there. Um, so that is wheelbarrow, or pimp my wheelbarrow, um, all done for you there. So purist, sprint, uh, unsymmetric, wheelbarrow, and fuel. And we'll catch one where it's shooting off down the run. Um, so there we go. So that one's all done. Uh, we'll just take a look at our messages there. And, uh, so $2,098 in my account there. Uh, let's see. Nobody chatting. It's always fun when you get those chat messages. Um, so XO Rob, scrap a combine, or he was trying to say it. You are amazing. Uh, please let me offer you all my assistant sister scrap combination. That'd be great. Uh, but for the right combination, I need you have to go purchase more parts in the shop. When I made new combinations, I'll add it to the top so you can purchase new combinations. Makes sense, very roundabout way. <laughs> um, so, do, do, do. I'll just make sure there's nobody else down here that wants to chat. No, okay. Uh, one minute. I don't know if I have enough time with one minute. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll just do some shopping here at the end. Uh, I do have um, some some money, so let's just uh, we'll look at these two expensive pieces just so that I can actually read through a little bit more dialogue here. Um, because we should have him pop up and say. Um, the do-it-yourself guy will pop up and say, hey, you've gotten all the pieces for your rocket here. Maybe not. Um, I think we can actually afford all this, so no. $53.63. Um, so we are just a little, a couple hundred dollars shy of where we want to be. So we did uh, get that. So 
parts curator. Do you seriously? All right, I haven't actually shown this to you guys on camera, so we'll go into the parts museum here and see what we might be missing. Um, that's part of the things there. Um, so wood, we're missing some of wood, it looks like, uh, over there. But we have some over here, so maybe that's just uh, extra parts that we haven't quite got yet. So that's, uh, I believe, the NSR corner over there. No, over here. So we are missing a firework, but I came in here to look at, which one was it? All the rocket pieces. See, they, they all look there. Um, so I don't understand why, just to make sure. See, the, to me it looks like they're all there. It really, it does. Um, so I don't see why it wouldn't. I guess there's other rocket pieces there, but I'm seeing no boxes around it. Um, so, oh well, um, okay, well I thought there was, uh, more to talk about, but I guess not. Um, so we will actually just do that next go around. Um, so I would like to thank you for joining me here today for episode number 19. Um, if you went through all that, all the way through that video and got all of that, I have a little surprise for you. Um, part of uh, doing this play, uh, this uh, show is challenges, um, and the other part is achievements. Part of getting your achievements uh, is difficult uh, because you need to make lots of money. Um, and in order to make lots of money, uh, I do have a trick for you. Um, in the link below, I will have a Google Sheets document that is a list of some of the tags. I um, snagged it from somebody on Reddit there. Um, so it has a list of the tags, different viral tags, what you need to do to be able to build different things to achieve those tags. So you might be able to send up a rocket that has five viral tags in it and get the CEO's attention. Is That's the one I'm um, referring to. It's getting the CEO's attention so you can actually talk to the CEO of Star2. Um, so that's the uh, challenge I'm referring to and the reason you want to do that is you want to make lots of money and I you can do that no problem um, at all with that list I have there for you so that will be in the link below for you guys um, so again I would like to thank you for joining me for episode number 19 um, until next time take care of yourself your friends and your family and to do that gotta get vaccinated hasn't killed me yet all right talk to you guys later